you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall be before you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will sit him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Oh, hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Kami po ay nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri sapagkat muli mo kami tinipon sa umagang ito. Salamat po sa inyong presensya sa aming kalakitnaan. Humihingi po kami ng uh, kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan. Linisin mo po kami sa lahat ng aming karamihan upang ang aming uh, samasamang pagpupuri na at pawag sa pag-awit ng pantamba ay maging isang mabangong hando. Salamat po o Diyos. Pangunahan mo ang gawain ito. At tunay nga po, Ama, na nihiling namin na that you pour out your blessing for us. That kayo po ang manguna at pangunahan mo ang gawain ito. Tunay na maluwad hati namin at naitaas namin ang pangalan ni Cristo Jesus. I pray fresh from heaven pour out the oil pour out the perfume and I fresh into the place where you are and I want to a place where oh, you are. Please Holy Spirit fill this place as we seek your face. Be glorified be magnified at ang kabuhan ng gawain ito tunay nga po na maluan hati ka namin, maparangalan at mapapurihan. We adore you, we worship you we long for your presence oh God. Sa pangalan ni Jesus Amen and Amen Amen. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Palakpakan naman po natin ng Panginoon. He is good and all the time. God is good to all of us. Oh 
this lyrics may come from us that we want more of him but also we want but also God wants us to know more he wants to know our heart he's just waiting for us to open the doors in your heart desire an encounter with us expect the unexpected from our God.
Face is all I see. You are my. 
Especially, Panginoon, sa mga sitwasyon po na aming pinagdadaanan. Kung saan, O Lord God, dumadami na naman, O Lord, ang mga nahahawa ng COVID virus. Lord, nandiyan ka parati para sa amin, Despite of all these things, O oh Lord God, Your love is so deep. And Lord, not even this COVID can hinder us to worship You in spirit and in truth. Kaya Panginoon, nandirito po kami. Patuloy na nagpapasakot sa iyong kapangyarihan. Ihanda mo, Panginoon, ang aming puso't isipan sa tulong ng banal na spirito na siyang magbibigay sa amin ng kaunawaan sa lahat ng mga nangyayari, lalong-lalo na, Lord God. Ngayong oras na ito na kung saan muli kaming katain ng iyong buhay na salita, with your power, with your anointing. And that, Lord, we ask for forgiveness from all our sins, from our shortcomings. And that, Lord, through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, you are cleansing us and purifying us right now. Kita mo 
lamang si Jesus sa aming buhay. And right now, Lord, right now, we will sing this song again with a humble heart. That Lord, makita mo lamang ang ang puro at lalisay sa aming puso. Ano man, oh Lord God, ang mga bumabagabag sa aming isipan, sa aming puso, sa aming buhay. Lord, palitan mo po ito ng kagalakan, kaligayahan, kapahingahan na nanggagaling lamang sa iyo, Jesus. And let your love reign right now in our midst for you are in the midst of us. inaalay sa iyo ang awiting ito ng punong-puno ng pag-asa, pagmamahal at pananampalataya. Oh, hallelujah. So oh, yes, Lord. His washing over me Your face is all I see You are my everything She Palang araw po sa ating lahat. Amen. Praise God.
tayo po ngayon ay uh, dadako sa pagbubulay at pag-aaral ng salita ng Panginoon. And uh, nung nakaraang uh, kahapon po pala, hindi po na tuloy ang ating uh, first quarter regional conference dahil po sa sitwasyon po na ating pong uh, pinagdadaanan ngayon na kung saan dumarami po ang bilang ng mga nahawaan ng uh, COVID virus. And uh, because of that, we decided to move next week. Kaya po ang ating pong uh, intensify your service to the Lord uh, seminar ay gagawin na lang po via Zoom. So, inaayayaan ko pong lahat. This will be a free registration. So, I encourage everyone to join. Tayo po ay magpapalakasan. Nandun po yung intention po natin na mas maganda kung makapagsama-sama po tayo sa pagpapalago at pagpapalakasan. But because of the situation, eh, minas minabuti na po namin na ito po ay pansamantala na gawing Zoom conference. So, tayo po ay ngay magpapatuloy na ngayon sa ating uh, pag-aaral. At uh, inaya ako pong lahat na tumayo as we pray. <coughs> Panginoon, kami po ay uh, nandirito, nagpapasakop, nagpapakumbaba, nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng pagpapala for sustaining us throughout this week sa lahat ng uh, miracles na aming naranasan sa buong linggo, sa iyong proteksyon. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, na hindi mo po hinayaan na magwagi ang uh, virus sa aming kalusugan. Patuloy kang nandyan para magprotekta sa amin na kung paano mo pinrotektahan ang iyong mga anak during the Israel time sa Egypt. We are now experiencing the Goshen experience na kung saan ini-spare mo ang iyong mga anak sa anumang sakuna, sa anumang tamin, patuloy ka na nandyan para sa amin. Kaya Panginoon, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng ginagawa mo. Even, O Lord God, sa mga tao na ginagamit mo na maging daluyan ng pagpapala sa amin, Lord, bless them even more. Especially, O oh Lord God, itong iyong iglesia sa Las Piñas na kung saan patuloy mo po kami binibigyan ng pagkakataon. Na kahit po limited po ang uh, numbers na pwede pong pumasok, but still, O oh Lord God, we are enjoying your presence. We are enjoying worshiping you in spirit and in truth. We are enjoying the fellowship of one another. And most of all, you unite us as one. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, for your love and your faithfulness. All glory and honor belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay. So maraming maraming salamat po. Mapagpalang linggo po sa ating lahat. And uh, grabe po ang sitwasyon po. No? Talagang uh, hindi po natin namamalayan. Pero tayo po ngayon ay uh, isang taon na <laughs> dumaranas ng ganitong pandemya. Tama po ba? Exactly one year or bukas magwa one year? Bukas ano? But still, parang parang uh, ngayon na yung isang taon. And grabe po yung faithfulness po ng Panginoon. Amen? Alam niyo po, isa po sa mga bagay na talagang makikita po natin na talagang nakakalungkot. Marami talagang naapektuhan na negosyo. Maraming mga tao na nawalan ng trabaho. <clears throat> And uh, Even, may maraming mga churches po na nagsara or tumigil sa kanilang church uh, service dahil po sa pandemic na ito, marami po ang naapektuhan. But the good thing about it is that despite may mga churches na nagsara sa physical building, pero yung gawain po hindi po nagsara. Dumami po ang uh, gawain sa kanya-kanyang tahanan. At patuloy pa rin po na kumakalat at lumalaganap ang buhay na salita ng Panginoon na kung saan tayo din po ay binibigyan ng pagkakataon ng Panginoon na magamit at tayo ay nagpapagamit 
para sa ikakaluwalhati at ikalalawig ng kanyang kaharian. So tayo po ay nagpapatuloy ngayon sa ating serye, The Discipleship Series, at pinamagatan ko po itong Follow Me. And last week, I discussed about the benefits of following Jesus Christ. Na kung saan nabanggit ko po in John chapter 15, sabi ko po rito, You are my friends sa scripture if you do whatever I command you, sabi po ni Jesus. No longer do I call you servants, for, I, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you these things I command you, that you love one another. So ito po yung na-discuss ko po, that, uh, following Jesus Christ, we will, he will call us friend, we will bear fruit, the blessings flow, and we will become selfless. Kasi po, nandito po yung tinuturoan na tayo ng Panginoon that we will think of others better than ourselves, that we will deny ourselves and follow Jesus Christ. And going back to our scripture verse, <clears throat> in Mark chapter 1, verse 16, And as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers, uh, fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Now, the big question is this. Are you a true follower of Jesus Christ? Alam niyo po, nabanggit po sa Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does not the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles. Then I will tell them plainly, plainly, Jesus will tell them, I never knew you away from me, you evildoer. Alam niyo po, marami ang nagsasabi na sa mga huling araw na sila ay mga Kristiyano, pero pagdating ng paghuhukom ay hindi pala. Ano nga ba ang tunay na kahulugan ng follower ni Jesus or a true disciple of Jesus Christ? Alam niyo po, as a church, tayo po, as a church, we bring the gospel of salvation to the world. We, as the followers of Jesus, will go and make disciples. Now, what is a disciple? Ano nga ba ibig sabihin nito? The Greek term for disciple in the New Testament is matetes, which means more than just student or learner. A disciple is a follower Someone who adheres completely to the teachings of another, making them his rule of life and conduct. So ang sinasabi po rito, kapag ikaw po ay isang disciple or disipulo, kung ano yung itinuturo sa iyo ng guro, yun ang i-embrace mo, yun ang magiging rules ng buhay mo, yun ang gagawin mo. Yun ang magiging buhay mo. And, in this, in this aspect, marami po ang ipinakita po sa atin sa scripture, mga halimbawa po, kung sino talaga ang mga tunay na sumusunod kay Heso Kristo. Halimbawa po, the Pharisees pride themselves in being disciple of Moses. Nung sinabi po sa John chapter 9, verse 28 to 29, Then they reviled him and said, You are his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spoke to Moses and as for this fellow, we do not know where he is from. So ito po yung sinasabi nila, mga, mga parisi, sinasabi nila ito 
sa tao na pinagaling ni Jesus, yung bulag na mula nung ipinanganak, siya ay bulag. At nung pinagaling siya ni Jesus, hindi makapaniwala ang mga pariseyo to the point na tatlong beses nilang tinawag yung tao. Kaya ang sabi niya dito sa mga preceding verses, yung mga naunang verse, ano po ba ang, ang, ano po ba ang uh, gusto niyong mangyari? Do you want to be His disciple? Kasi hin, kahit naman anong sabihin ko, tatlong beses niyo ako tinawag, hindi naman kayo naniniwala na pinagaling ako ng taong ito. Uh, are you following? Na, yung, yung pride kasi malaking factor yun para mag-hinder sa kung ano yung nais ipagawa sa atin ng Panginoon because of marami tayong mga baggages, marami tayong ipinaglalaban na hindi natin namamalayan. We are now uh, putting a wall para hindi natin ma-embrace or maintindihan ang ipinapagawa ng Panginoon. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. Mark chapter 1 verse 16 said, Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. You know, if you don't know who is that me, yung sinabi niya na follow me, kung hindi mo alam kung sino yung me that was mentioned, then it will be very difficult for you to follow that person. Kaya nga, alam niyo po, following a person in the name of Jesus who came here on earth, died on the cross of Calvary, and rose from the dead after three days para sa iyo at para sa akin, so that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. Once you fully embrace and understand that me, in verse 16, who wants us to follow, then your following with Him will now make sense. Yung pagsunod mo ngayon sa Kanya, magkakaroon ngayon ng kabuluhan. Magkakaroon ng, makikita mo ngayon yung purpose mo bilang anak ng Panginoon kung bakit mo siya sinusunod at bakit tayo maniniwala na kapag sinunod natin siya, tayo ay mapapabuti. Relationship is so important when you follow Jesus. You know why? Because Jesus was quite explicit about the mo the cause of following Him. Malaking factor po na ma-establish po natin ang relationship natin sa Panginoon dahil ito ang magbibigay sa atin ng foundation para tayo sumunod sa Kanya. Magbibigay ito sa atin ng confidence na hindi tayo basta-basta susunod sa kung sino man yung gustong magpasunod sa atin kung wala naman tayong relasyon. Kaya nga po, alam nyo po, kahit alam po natin na merong Diyos, kahit alam natin na ang Diyos ay gumagawa ng Himala, kahit alam natin na ang Diyos ay nabuhay muli kahit siya ay namatay at ipinako sa krus. Pero kung wala kang relasyon, sa Jesus na binabanggit sa Bible, mahirap gawin at sumunod dahil ang pagsunod sa Panginoon, it will cost you everything. That is why following Jesus requires a totally committed life. Kaya po sabi sa Luke chapter 14, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. So, <clears throat> kapatid, <clears throat> when you say everything, walang reservations. When you say everything, walang excuses. When you say everything, walang exemption. Following Jesus requires everything we have. 
The million dollar question is this. Are you ready to follow Him? Ang pagtawag po ng Panginoon sa atin para tayo ay sumunod will cost us everything. And it entails sacrifice. Talagang alam ng Panginoon that we have to sacrifice. Jesus said to His disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Kaya po, kailangan maubos yung excuses natin sa pagsunod sa Panginoon. Hanggat meron kang dahilan, hanggat meron kang excuses, hanggat meron kang reason, <clears throat> Para hindi ka sumunod, eh, uubusin ng Panginoon yan. At, apag, at ang pag-ubos ng Panginoon ng options sa buhay natin, hindi po madali. Would you imagine, maubusan ka ng option to the point na hindi mo na alam kung anong gagawin mo. And then, babalik ka rin pala doon sa kung ano yung pinapagawa sa ng Panginoon. Kaya po, alam niyo po, grabe po yung patience ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin para lamang tayo sumunod sa Kanya. Yes, He will allow. He will allow your decisions in life. He will allow the things that you want to do. But there will come a point, a certain point in your life wherein you will now go to a place what we call crossroads. Ayan na. <laughs> Pag nasa crossroads ka na, hindi mo na ngayon alam, kakaliwa ba ako, Lord? Kakanan ba ako? Babalik ba ako? Diteretso ba ako? <clears throat> Take note. Pag nandun ka sa crossroads, believe me, it is your, it is not rather your comfort zone. Hindi comfort zone ng crossroads. But that crossroad will be your turning point. Take note. Ano ang turning point ng buhay mo para sabihin mo na, Lord, there's no turning back. I will follow you. I will follow you. No matter what. No matter what. Kaya po sabi ng Panginoon, deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. You see, not all of Jesus' followers were able to make such a commitment. There were many who left Him after a while. From the time many of His disciples turned back and no longer followed Him. Natandaan po ninyo, in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 66, majority of His disciples, what? Left Him. Bakit? We cannot swallow we cannot, we cannot understand kung anong ipinapagawa ng taong ito. Kakainin daw natin ang laman niya at iinumin natin yung dugo niya. <clears throat> Di ba? Anong sinabi niya? Eh ano ngayon ang sinabi ng Panginoong Jesus sa mga natitirang disciple? Sabi niya sa verse 67, <clears throat> You do not want to live too? Do you? Jesus asked the twelve disciples. But Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. You see, brothers and sisters, this is a, um, a meat. Enough of milk. Kailangan natin mag-chew talaga ng solid food para mag-grow tayo sa kung ano yung ninanais ng Panginoon. Alam niyo po, ang bawat isa sa atin maaaring dumarana sa pagsubok sa buhay. Sino po ba ang walang problema dito? And you know, nakita ko nga po si uh, uh, Brother Primo and I really thank God for his life kasi po gumagalaw po ang Panginoon sa buhay niya kung paano nagkaroon ng healing and yung process po ng healing to the point na nandirito po siya ngayon at nakakasama na po natin muli sa gawain. But you know, 
it took him a while talagang dumating sa point. Tama ba, Brother Pimo? Hindi ka na makalakad. Sobrang pumayat. But you know, God is so good. Lahat po tayo, <clears throat> meron pong pag-aayos na ginagawa ang Panginoon. Kaya po kung mapapansin din po ninyo, most of the time, yung mga sitwasyon sa buhay natin, hindi man pare-parehas, pero nauulit. Magkaiba man ang sitwasyon, magkaiba man ang tao, magkaiba man ang panahon, pero merong ipinaparating ang Panginoon sa atin <clears throat> kung ano man yung lesson na itinuturo niya sa atin. So if you have your Bibles with you, please open it in Matthew chapter 8, verse 18 to 22. In this section, Matthew gave three illustrations to demonstrate the right of the king to ask servants to follow him and to deny, to deny requests from those who were motivated improperly. Ito po yung mga halimbawa po ng Panginoon kung saan ipinapakita po niya rito ang iba't ibang stato ng ating pagkatao. Ang sabi niya po sa verse 18, When Jesus saw the crowd around him, He instructed His disciples to cross to the other side of the lake. Then one of the teachers of religious law, or yung scribe na tinatawag po nila, said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Wow! Parang kanta lang, ano? Yung call, the calling, <laughs> wherever you will go. Sipin po niyo, grabe yung confidence ng teacher na ito, no? Talaga nga naman. Kung, kung panahon lang natin, wedding nga. Really? Baka sabi mo. <laughs> A teacher of the law came to Jesus and seemingly without thinking, blurted out, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Though Jesus desired disciples who would follow him and work in his harvest field, he wanted only those who were properly motivated. Kailangan din po talaga ng motivation natin. Ano ang sinagot ni Jesus Christ dito sa teacher na ito? Ang sabi niya sa verse 20, And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay His head. Alam niyo po yung reply po ng Panginoon, ipinapakita po rito yung kapakumbabaan ng kanyang pagkatao. He is contrast with animals such as foxes and birds did not even have a place where He could lay His head at night. Wala siyang permanent na tahanan The Lord obviously knew the heart of this person and saw that he desired, eto na, fame. Kasi siyempre, sikat si Jesus. Maraming sumusunod sa kanya. E alam naman po natin, di ba? Karamihan po ng mga guro, yung mga parisi, yung mga nagtuturo ng batas, ng law, ng Panginoon, gustong gusto nila, sila yung sikat. Kapag kadumadaan sila, kailangan babatiin mo. Ang mga suot nila talagang kakaiba sa mga ordinaryong tao. At kapag sila ay pumupunta sa handaan, kailangan nandun sila sa presidential seat. Fame ang hinahanap nila. Gusto nila sila yung above. Gusto nila sila yung mas, mat, mas sikat. <laughs> Pero sinabi ng Panginoon, Paxes have holes and birds have, of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay His head. Are you sure you want to follow me? But you know, God knows every heart in this room right now. The Lord always knew the heart of this person and saw that the desired fame is in following a prominent teacher such was not Jesus' character. Because great crowds followed Jesus and opposition had not yet begun, many would be disciples wanted to follow Him. Many would be disciples. 
yung mga nagpapanggap. Pero, they don't want to pay the price. Kaya nga po tayo, pagka sumunod at tunay na sumusunod tayo sa Panginoon, it will cost us everything. Of course, hindi ko naman po sinasabi na isurrender nyo lahat. Yung trabaho ninyo, isurrender nyo lahat ang pamilya ninyo. But what God is telling is that, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, ang pagsunod sa Panginoon, He is now the first and everything will become secondary. Everything will become secondary. Kasi ang primary natin, ang Panginoong Jesus. And then another of His disciples said to Him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Pero nung sinabi ni Jesus, but Jesus said to him, follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Hindi po tinasabi ng Panginoon or Jesus was not asking the man to be disrespectful to his father na hindi papatay but to have the right priorities in life. Yung po yung gustong ipakita at iparating sa atin ng Panginoon, ano ang priority natin sa pagsunod natin sa Kanya. It is better to preach the gospel and give life to the spiritually dead than to wait for your father to die and bury him. Ito po yung gustong sabihin ng Panginoon. E alam din po natin, <clears throat> sa buhay po natin, may mga ganyan din po tayong pagkakataon na yung priority natin eh yung pangsarili at nalilis priority natin ang Panginoon. Of course, God knows what is in our heart. Whether you want to deny it or you want to admit it, ang Panginoon, alam po niya yan. Kaya nga po, <laughs> importante po, and I know na <clears throat> Hindi po madali. And I do believe that God is speaking into your hearts. All the more na mas lalo tayong sumunod sa Panginoon, lalong-lalo na sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Kung mapapansin po ninyo, <clears throat> uh, hindi po nawawala ang ating sitwasyon. And palala ng palala. I don't want to be pessimistic in this situation. Pero binibigyan din tayo ng wisdom ng Panginoon that I said that this year is the season of sowing. Because there will be a point in time na kapag hindi tayo nagtanim ngayon at dumating yung sitwasyon na kung saan lahat mahirap na, then wala tayong aanihin. If, the, if God is giving us the opportunity to sow this 2021, we never know pagdating ng 2022, mas worse pa ang sitwasyon natin. Of course, it is already written in the Bible that in the last days, there will be famine, wars, rumors of wars, but this is just the beginning. Take note. It is just the beginning. Another example, in Matthew chapter 19, sabi niya po rito, Now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Ito na yung rich young ruler. So he said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Ito na po yung pride. He said to him, Which one, Lord? <clears throat> Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witnesses. Wow. Anong sagot ng rich young ruler? Ginawa ko na lahat to, Lord. <clears throat> Honor your father and your mother and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? Wow! Walang kayabang-yabang, di ba? Ikaw na. 
ang pinaka-humble. <laughs> but in verse 21, Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven and come, follow me. Ano sa tingin ninyo nangyari? Sabi ko nga, di ba? Marireveal talaga kung ano ang katatayuan at ano ang sitwasyon ng puso mo. Ano ang suma anong sumunod sa verse 22? But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. Hindi niya mabitawan ngayon yung sinabi ng Panginoon. You want to follow me? Okay. Sell all your possessions <coughs> and come follow me. Pero ano nangyari? Tumalikod po yung rich young ruler. You know why? <coughs> because there is something more important in his life than following Jesus. Now, imagine this. Yung rich young ruler, ginawa niya lahat. Mabait siya. Hindi siya nangangalun niya. <clears throat> hindi siya sakim. Hindi siya nananakit ng kapwa niya. Ang sabi pa nga ng Panginoon, Love your neighbor. Oh, I have kept this mula nung ako'y maliit. So, ibig sabihin, itong taong ito ay lumaki na mayroong breed. Tama? Napalaki siya ng kanyang mga magulang <clears throat> na talagang andoon ang pagmamahal sa kapwa. Andun din yung kanyang pagsunod <clears throat> sa sampung utos. Pero, meron tayong weakness <laughs> na alam na alam ng Panginoon. Take note, alam na alam din ng demonyo ang kahinaan natin yan. At dyan tayo magkakaroon ng crossroads. Two things. Mga importanteng bagay sa buhay mo na hindi mo pa kayang i-offer sa Diyos. The 40s that na, na discuss po natin sa ating uh, discipleship process. Time, talent, treasure, temple, your body. Or ambitions and aspirations or relationships. And second, mga bagahe na hindi mo pa rin ipinapako sa cross. Take note of this mga kapatid. Biblically speaking, a Christian is someone who has placed his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. A Christian has been born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. A Christian belongs to Christ and is daily being transformed into the likeness of Jesus. But there is a difference between a disciple of Jesus Christ and a quote-unquote I will say, a cultural Christian of today. What is a cultural Christian? Ito yung nagpa-practice ng religion and nominal religion. And please don't get me wrong here, I, or I am not offending anyone. Gusto ko lang po mas maintindihan ninyo kung ano ang ibig sabihin sa cultural Christian. Practicing religion. You read your Bible, go to church, pray, you love Jesus. You are practicing your religion. Nominal religion, if you say something about their religion, they will really punch you. <laughs> Talagang makikipagtalo sila at hindi sila papayag. These people doesn't go to church Unless birthday nila, kaya po pa sila nag-church. <laughs> A cultural Christians of today is the religion of yesterday. Alam na natin kung ano ang gagawin. Yung routine, yung prayer, 
yung ini-expect natin pag pumunta tayo sa church, pero ang puso natin ay malayo sa presensya ng Panginoon. It took us one year and God prepared us for that year so that this year, dapat nag-uumpisa na tayo na mag-share ng word ng Panginoon sa lahat ng tao na sa paligid natin. Start sowing the word of God. Even if that person hindi mo na patanggap ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, Apostle Paul saw the seed. Apollos cultivate it, but God will make it grow. And the good thing about it is that pantay-pantay, merong pagpapala na ibibigay ang Panginoon because of that. Are you a cultural Christian or a true follower of Jesus Christ? If you will just read your Bible without the leading of the Holy Spirit, then it is just an ordinary book. A daily devotion life means as a disciple of Jesus Christ, you take time every day because you know it is important to be in the presence of God and the Word of God. Real disciple wants to know what the words say. Real disciple wants to know what is Jesus telling you then you will kneel and pray. Kaya po, lagi po, at ipinagbibilin po, at nababanggit po many times in the Bible, study the book of instruction continually, meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Binanggit po ito sa Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Kaya po, no matter how busy we are, always find time. I'm sorry. Always give time. Because you cannot find time. Yan yung mga sasabihin na natin na kulang ang oras. 24 hours na ginawa ng Panginoon is not enough. Wala akong time. Di ba? So pag sinabi mo nang wala kang time, that means to say, it is not your priority. Because anything that you put your focus, your priority, you will give time. Katulad po na nabanggit ko po nung nakaraan, Ang Biblia, ang pagbabasa ng Biblia, parang kanin sa atin yan. Tayong mga Pilipino, raisitarian tayo eh. Hindi tayo kontento sa isang araw na hindi makakain ng kanin. You see, even Jesus Christ, no matter how busy He was here on earth, binigyan talaga yan ng time na mapag-isa siya at magdasal at makaniig. Ang Diyos. Could you imagine Jesus Christ Himself, no matter how busy He was? Sabi nga po sa Luke 5, 15 to 16, Yet the news about Him spread all the more, so that crowds of people came to hear Him and be healed of their sicknesses. And in verse 16, But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Cultural Christians always look to what the world says. May peer pressure. We always uh, put heaviness sa sasabihin ng kapwa natin. Yung bang, naku, eh, ano na lang ang sasabihin ni friend, ni girl? Wala akong pakisama. Peer pressure yan eh. Kasi nga, kultura... Despite of all the things na alam na natin, kung ano ang dapat natin gawin, but because nandun tayo sa aspeto na ito yung tinitignan natin, we always look to what the world says. Lalong-lalo na kapag ka sinabi, come on naman, lahat naman ginagawa yan, ano ka ba? 
Subukan mo lang. Nakatali ka sa mga bagay na, nagbi, na naibibigay ng mundo. And I will ask you and answer it honestly, ano ang mas madalas mong hawakan? Ang iyong Bible, ah, malaming beses na natin yan ito, or ang cellphone. Eh, dati, computer. Tapos, nag-laptop. Ay, oh tama. Tapos, TV. Ngayon, lahat. Kaya mo nang gawin sa cellphone. Gusto mo manood ng telenovela, meron sa cellphone. Gusto mo mag-Netflix, meron sa cellphone. Gusto mo mag-Facebook, social media, ano man, nasa cellphone. Eh di lalo na, pag gusto mong umorder online. <laughs> andyan, ang las- uh, andyan na lahat ng online selling, di ba? But a true disciple knows the word, the Bible. Pag may narinig siyang katuruan right there and then, masasabi niya, sandali, parang hindi yata yan yung nabasa ko sa Bible. Parang iba yata tayo ng binasa. Ano ba yung binabasa mo? Parang hindi yata yan yung natutunan ko. But you know, eh, importante talaga eh. Kasi, wala kang paghuhugutan kung wala kang ipinasok. Kung wala kang nabasa, walang marireveal. Walang magri walang mariremind ang Holy Spirit. And I will close with this scripture verses. In Matthew chapter 7. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice. It's like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Mga kapatid, This verse give us a concrete instruction, guidelines na kung talagang gusto mo na maging matatag sa katatayuan mo, hindi lamang sa buhay mo, kung hindi sa iyong pananampalataya, then meditate the Word of God, obey what it says, and follow Jesus Christ. Correct me if I'm wrong. Baka po meron pong page, pages dito sa Bible na binabasa ko, eh hindi po kasama sa Bible na binabasa ninyo. Na sino mang sumunod kay Jesus. Ay napahamak. Ang alam ko, ang sabi ng Panginoon, kung mapanghamak ka man, dahil sa akin, ikaw ay pinagpala. Tama po ba? If you will save your life, <laughs> you will lose it. But if you lose your life because of me, wow! Tell me, kapahamakan ba yun? Kaya mo bang panghawakan yun? Lalong-lalo na po sa sitwasyon natin. That in the last days, wicked people will become more wicked. Lovers of money, lovers of themselves, adulterous. Lahat ng klase ng kasalanan talagang umaangat. Sipin po ninyo, di ba? Dati-rate, itinatago ang same-sex relationship. Abang ngayon, hindi lang po bulgar, legal. Abomination that causes desolation. Sipin po niya. God created 
male and female, and they will become one. We love people despite of their situations. But we will not allow those kind of things in following Jesus. In verse 26, but everyone who hears this word of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Brothers and sisters, this is the time all the more lalo tayong lumapit sa Panginoon. You know why? Pag dumating ang unos, pag dumating ang pagsubok, pag dumating ang bagyo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin, at hindi matatag ang kinatatayuan ng pundasyon ng buhay mo, ng pananampalataya mo, inialimbawa tayo sa bahay na nakatayo sa buhanginan. Yes, we love ang dagat. Lalong-lalo na kapag ka tinatabunan mo yung mga paa mo ng buhangin at andyan na yung alon, ano nangyari pag naalunan yung paa mo na merong cover ng buhangin? Pag dumating yung alon at bumalik siya sa dagat, tangay din ang buhangin. Ganyan din po tayo mga kapatid. Madali tayong matatangay sa buhay natin, sa pananampalataya natin, sa sitwasyon natin, sa pag-uugali natin. Magugulat ka na lang. Out of the abundance of your heart, it will come out sa iyong mga labi. Kaya po, alam niyo po, patuloy din pong binibigyan tayo ng instruction ng Panginoon, guard your heart. Because it is the wellspring of life. Because our heart is full of darkness, full of deceitfulness. Napakadumi. Punong-puno ng kasamaan at kadiliman ng puso. Pero you know, this is the good thing. If you surrender your heart to Jesus Christ, He dwells in our hearts. He knows what is in our heart. Wala tayong maitatago kung bakit ginagawa mo yung ginagawa mo. Kahit na anong pagtatago, wala tayong maililibak sa Panginoon. It will come out. And it will be challenged. Matitest ang kondisyon ng puso ng bawat isa sa atin. Kaya po, brothers and sisters, In following Jesus Christ, it entails everything that we have. So can I ask everyone to please stand up? Can I call on the musicians to please come? Huwag po tayong maging cultural Christian. Parang ang sinasabi dito, seasonal Christian tayo. Kapag ka lahat maayos, praise the Lord. Pero kapag ka ang mga sitwasyon na nararanasan natin ay challenging, Lord, bakit naman? A true Christian and not one in the name only will also be a disciple of Jesus Christ. That is, he will have counted the cost of following the Lord and has totally committed his life to Jesus. He accepts the call 
to sacrifice and follows wherever the Lord leads. The disciple completely adheres to the teaching of Jesus Christ, makes Christ his number one priority, and lives accordingly. He is actively involved in making other disciples. So a true disciple is a believer in Christ and possesses new life through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Because he believes in Christ, And as Apostle Paul said, we are willing to take up the cross and follow Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul mentioned, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Mga kapatid, let us surrender everything. Surrender everything. Lahat. In following Jesus Christ, it entails everything. The cost. We know the cost. And God wants us to know the cost. He is very specific. The question is this. Are you a true follower of Jesus Christ? And I would like to challenge you, brothers and sisters. And this challenge is an invitation of Jesus Christ in your life. At ang sinasabi niya, Follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. And that question, iiwan ko po sa inyo. If you really want to follow Jesus Christ, This is the time that you give everything to Him. You don't need to raise your hands because God knows what is in your heart. At kung hindi mo pa sinusuko ang buhay mo sa Panginoon, this is the sign. Surrender your life to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Let us bow down our heads and let us pray. Ama namin makapangyarihan, kami po ay lumalapit sa iyo. Panginoon, alam mo po ang nilalaman ng puso ng bawat isa sa amin. Hayaan mo po, Panginoon, na i mo, O Lord God, ang kondisyon ng aming puso. Alam mo, Panginoon, ang aming kahinaan Alam mo, Panginoon, kung ano po yung aming pagkukulang. Alam mo, Panginoon, kung ano yung mga bagay na hindi namin nagagawa pero nais mong ipagawa sa amin. 
Alam mo din po, Panginoon, ang aming pagkakasala. Kami po, O Lord God, ay nagpapalinis sa makapangyirihang dugo ng iyong anak na si Jesus. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we want to follow you that you will make us fishers of men. Yes, Lord, nalilimitahan man po kami, Panginoon, physically, sa aming church. But Lord, nothing is impossible to you. We will use all the available materials. We will use all the available technology that we can offer to you to share your word, to spread the gospel of salvation at gagamitin niyo po, Panginoon, ang aming buhay. Maging buhay na patotoo sa aming kapwa. Kaya, Panginoon, iayos niyo po ang aming mga puso. Alam niyo rin po, Panginoon, ang mga bagahe na nagpapahirap sa amin para hindi po kami makapagpatuloy sa ipinapagawa niyo po sa amin. Alam niyo po, Panginoon, ang aming mga kahinaan. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the deception of the enemies. We rebuke all the excuses, all the reasons na hindi po namin magampanan ang ipinapagawa po ninyo sa amin. For this time, O oh Lord God, time is near and the time is at haste. Panginoon, hindi po kami magsasayang ng oras. Patawarin niyo po kami, Panginoon. That Lord, we want to build our faith, our foundation on a solid rock and that is you, Jesus. Help us, O Lord God, to obey your will. Help us, O Lord God, to do your commands and that, Lord, we will do all these things full of joy, full of love, And that, Lord, help us to be sensitive also sa lahat ng mga nangyayari sa amin. Hindi po kami lumalapit sa inyo, Panginoon, to the point na kami po ay nahihirapan. But, Lord, lumalapit kami sa inyo, Panginoon, ano man ang sitwasyon namin, because we trust you, because we love you, and we want to follow you. Yeah, Lord, this time onwards, i-guide nyo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Na hindi po kami magpapabaya, Panginoon. That indeed we are blessed as your children dahil kami po ay sumusunod sa iyo. That Lord, your protection is there despite of the accusations, despite of the works of the enemies in our lives and in our family and in our ministry, even in our work and businesses. that we will only set our eyes unto you, Jesus. And that Holy Spirit, continue to steer our hearts, lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, kapag kami po ay 
nakakapag-isip ng mga bagay na hindi ka aya-aya sa inyong paningin. Holy Spirit, steer our hearts, reveal the condition of it, and that Lord, we will be sensitive to obey your will, that we will hear your tiny voice in our heart, Even, Lord God, increase our faith all the more. Ano man po, Panginoon, ang mga nararanasan namin, if the enemy is reminding us sa mga kahinaan namin, Lord, you said that your grace is sufficient in our weaknesses. And by your grace, Mariribil Panginoon ang iyong kapangyarihan. Mariribil Panginoon ang iyong kakayahan sa aming buhay. Salamat Panginoon sa patuloy na pag-aayos na ginagawa mo po sa amin. Ikaw lamang ang maitaas, Jesus, sa aming buhay because it is more of you and less of us. Salamat, Panginoon, sa kagalingan. Tunay nga, Panginoon, na Ikaw ang aming Diyos na nagpapagaling. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagpapala at sa biyaya ng buhay. Because, God, You are our greatest provider. Salamat, Panginoon, sa kapayapaan despite of this cruelty in the world. Because you are our Prince of Peace. Salamat Panginoon sa dugo ng iyong anak na si Jesus na siyang patuloy na naglilinis sa aming mga pagkakasala. At salamat Ama sa buhay na walang hanggan. Alam po namin Panginoon na meron kang inihanda na tahanan sa aming lahat. Maraming, maraming salamat. Dahil hindi mo lamang kami pinagpapala kung hindi, Panginoon, kami ay ginagamit mo na maging daluyan ng pagpapala sa aming kapwa. Ito po ang aming samot na langin sa matamis na pangalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Sige po, tayo po ay makakaupo as we give our tithes and love offering to the Lord.
Let's all stand up po. and let us pray for the tithes and offerings. Lord God, maraming marami pong salamat sa araw na ito. Thank you, Lord God, sa inyong mga mensahe po, Panginoon. I pray that we truly have a heart to follow you, Jesus. Lord God, ang lahat ng meron kami ay tanging sa iyo lamang po, Panginoon. At maraming marami pong salamat sa provision, sa proteksyon, sa paggabay sa amin po, Panginoon. Pagpalain niyo po ang mga tithes and offerings na ito, Lord God. Kayo po ang mag-bless nito at mag-increase more abundantly para sa iyong church po, Lord God, sa ikalalago po nito. Panginoon, maraming marami pong salamat. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your love, for your protection, for your peace and comfort sa bawat isa po, Panginoon. Maraming marami pong salamat, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. Sige po, tayo po ay uh, makakatayo. Patuloy po tayo nakatayo pala. Sorry. And uh, tayo po ay magsasara sa ating gawain. Panginoon, kami po ay uh, lubos na nagpapasalamat, Ama, sa iyong walang humpay na pagmamahal. Salamat, Panginoong Jesus, na namatay ka sa amin, na lahat ng aming pagkakasala ay iyong inako, at hinugasan ng iyong dugo. Salamat sa iyong habag. Salamat, banal na spirito, na patuloy mo kaming ginagabayan sa aming lakarin patungo sa landas ng katuwiran. Kaya, Panginoon, we will follow you and there is no turning back. Thank you so much, O Lord. All glory and honor belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Thank you so much. A blessed Sunday to everyone. God bless you.